Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 21 in the PHP programming tutorial series. Now um, I apologize for not making a video for a few days. I was actually, I came down with a really bad cold and I lost my voice kind of so I'm getting a bit better now so I think I'm ready to make some new tutorials so I apologize if I have kind of like croaky voice but um, you know it's, let's just hope it works out. So you need to create a new file called strpos.php and what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be covering the string position function or strpos and what this will allow us to do is find the position of one string in another string and it's useful for finding if a string contains a certain string so let's say we're asking a user to enter the email we can use this to check if it contains an at symbol now there is a better way of doing this with regular expression the preg but I will be covering this further down the line that's just kind of like a little example of how we could use this so you know let's get on with it so in this video we're going to be using the identical operator now so far we've covered the assignment operator which is let me just comment this the one equal sign that is the assignment operator to assign a variable um, to a value and the other one we've used is the equals which is a comparison operator, the double equals, and that will compare one thing to another. But in this video, we're going to be using the triple equals. Now, I don't want to confuse you guys about all these different operators all together, so I'm just going to try and keep it brief. The identical operator, the triple equals, that will determine if the value, sorry, if two values are the same. Um, the same value and also the same data type so for example if you had 50 as a string and then 50 as a variable and you use the triple equals they would not be identical because they're not the same data type so we're going to use that in this video okay so pretty much what we're going to be doing today is looking at the string position function so we're going to need a string that we're going to search this is our haystack we will just type sentence and this sentence is going to be um, this is tutorial number 21 and that and now that we've got this we need to search for something inside this sentence so this is our haystack now we need our needle so this is going to be we'll just call this needle and we're gonna just let's see what will we look for we'll look for n and that and what this is going to do is we're going to search this string for this character and we're looking for n inside of here. Now, to make a string position, uh, to use the string position function, we first need to declare a variable to store the return value. So we're going to call this search. And now, all we need to do is use the string position function. All we need to do is type strpos. And sorry, one second. Sorry about that, my mic was falling out. But to, to declare a string position function you need to type strpos and there are two parameters that you need to fill so add your brackets and the first one is going to be the haystack or the sentence that you want to search so I'm going to type sentence and then you have a comma and the next one is going to be the needle so I'll type needle okay so let's go through this we've just declared a sentence and this is tutorial number 21 and then we've got a needle that we want to search for inside the sentence so if we look down here on Notepad++, it says column right here. This is position number 14. So if we go all the way down to N, then that's 31. So I'm guessing it will be around 17. I'm not sure if it will be after or because there's also a zero involved. But I'm just going to say, yeah, before, oh, actually, yeah, but it will be um, 17. So what this will do, um, when, we, when we use this string position function, we're setting the value of search to the return value of this function and what it will return is it will either return the position of the needle inside of the sentence or if the needle is not inside the sentence it will return false so there's two possible um, outcomes for this it will either return an integer or it will return the boolean false so we need to read the result of this so we're going to create a simple if statement we're going to say if in our brackets sorry um, I'm going to say if search which is the return we get and then we're going to use our triple equals and then false 
and that's just saying if we have we've been returned false then we're simply going to echo out just echo out the string was not found but if it was found we're going to say else and we're going to echo out the position of the string is space and we're going to concatenate the return value of the string position so do that and let's just go through this one more time so we declare our sentence up here which is this is tutorial number 21 and the needle is n what, what we're searching for inside here is n and what this will do now the function will go and check it will say okay is needle inside of sentence so is is the letter n inside of this is in tutorial number 21 and if it is it will give us the exact the um, the placement of where this is the position sorry of where n is inside the sentence which will be an integer but if it isn't it's going to return the boolean false so we can save this go to strpos.php and you'll see the position of the string is 17 just like I said before well let's say we want to test it out and let's say you know we want to put a character that isn't in there x save this you'll see then um, the string was not found so we can see that our string position function is actually working and a practical use for this as I said it could have been email so let's just um, just test this out now this actually isn't a good way to check for emails or you know anything like that because there could not be a valid email it could not be anything before it gonna have a dot com or whatever after it that's why we need to use red regex for this reg, regular expressions which will be in a fifth tutorial but just to test it out let's just try this again we're going to, we're going to say email is equal to um, testing at hotmail.com we'll use single quotes for this oops forgetting where my single quote is okay and the search the needle is going to be an at sign I'm gone blind today okay so now we need to declare our search our string position function so we're going to say str position and we're going to look for we're going to look inside of email and we're going to look for needle okay and now all we're going to do is make a simple if statement so we're going to say if search and then triple equals as we said before is false then we're going to echo out this is not a valid email and then we're going to do else we're going to say echo out this is a valid email so let's just test this out save that reload it and it says this is a valid email because it goes through this and says okay we're going to search inside of email for needle and the needle is this and it says okay so if search is false but it didn't retain false it actually retained the value of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I think it would be 8 it retained the value of 8 so we're going to go to else and say this is a valid email so if we change this to um, just some random string save this say this is not a valid email so once again we will be covering the regular expression to do things like this but that's just kind of a, a way to show to get it across because I couldn't really think of another way on the spot I didn't plan this video so if you have any questions about this then please leave a comment please like the video subscribe to the channel and keep watching for the next tutorial